welcome back to Garden Ninja. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can cultivate ground with a petrol powered cultivator. Now these pieces of machinery are also known as a soil tiller or a rotivator and they're a really good bit of kit to save you both time and effort when cultivating large spaces of open ground. So I'm going to show you how to safely and effectively use one of these to save loads of time and to get your beds in perfect condition. Come on, let's get cracking. But before you get started, a few words on safety and it's really important because this is a piece of high power equipment um, and if you don't wear things like steel toe cap boots or wellies in my case, you could easily do yourself a mischief. Always wear goggles as well because you have no idea what's under the soil so things can get thrown up at you. So I'm wearing a padded gilet, some tough jeans, steel toe cap wellies, goggles, got some ear defenders and I'll be wearing gloves. So just make sure that you're safe before you start this. So there are a few key features of soil tillers that I'll walk you through now. So each petrol powered one will have a fuel tank where you need to put some fuel in to get it going. They'll have an oil reservoir to make sure that all the internal workings of the engine are protected when it's running. There'll also be a steering wheel down here for when you're not using the tiller. So this, the only function of this is to get it around your garden without scraping these blades or your feet. So when you're cultivating, that needs to be lifted up. You've got the blades down here. Um, this model's got two different blades on each side, which then churn through the soil, breaking up the cap or any compaction on the top. So you may need to do a few passes dependent on the condition of your soil, um, but basically these blades do all the hard work rather than you. There'll also be an on-off switch somewhere that will engage the machine. You'll have a clutch, like this one over here, which allows you to um, engage the machine to drive forward and start the blades spinning. But before that, you'll have this cord here that you pull that will then start the petrol engine. So that gets everything going and then you use your clutch to move it forward. So there'll also be a depth gauge somewhere on the machine which sets how deep these cultivating blades dig into the soil. So this model's got three settings. I've already done one quick pass on the highest and it barely touched. I did the second one down and it was more of like a scrape. So I've gone to the lowest setting now and see how that goes. But it's all about doing multiple passes. So you're breaking up slowly but surely. You're not gonna break it all up in one hit. It's gonna take a bit of time, but it will save bags of effort. So there we have it, Garden Ninja's simple guide to using a petrol powered cultivator. If you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, where there's plenty more garden design videos. Thanks for watching, happy gardening.